young sisters were pulled from their Kansas City home this morning right here from on uh, 68th Street here. The details on their rescue coming up. Also, benefits expire for more than a million Americans on unemployment this weekend. How Washington is preparing for this change. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here on 41 Action News Midday. I'm Zhao Zhao Shen in for Cynthia Newsom. We are in for a slight warm up, but it's not going to last too long. Meteorologist Kaylee Dion reveals what's in store for us over the next couple of days. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, Jaja. We have a great day this afternoon. Temperatures are going to be up into the upper 40s, and some of us will hit the 50 degree mark today. Look at our one park place, the luxury condominium sky view, as we do have blue skies, very quiet, just like yesterday, but the snow is gone. Yesterday, we saw the snow at this time, but it all melted. We just jumped, we just jumped from 36 degrees to 41 at KCI, 40 downtown, 34 in St. Joe, 37 in Chillicothe. As we go through the rest of the day today, we are going to see temperatures jump up into the upper 40s. So a great afternoon. It will last into Saturday, but then there are some big changes we need to talk about. And I'll break those down coming up in just a few minutes. And also you'll get to see your seven-day forecast. All right, Kaylee, we'll see you very soon. We are continuing to follow this developing story this midday. Kansas City firefighters pulled a teenager and her five-year-old sister from their burning home. Sayed Shabir just spoke with the fire chief. He joins us live at the home on East 69th Street with more. Sayed. Yeah, hi, Jaja. We've just learned in the last few minutes that both of these young girls are still at Children's Mercy Hospital and are still in critical condition. This is where the fire was uh, late last night before midnight. Both girls were unresponsive uh, when firefighters first got here. If you take a look at some of the video here, the older girl, the 14-year-old, called 911 right around 1130 last night. Uh, she was telling dispatchers that she was having trouble breathing, but she was unable to tell them that there was an actual fire going on. So when firefighters arrived here, they had no idea that there was a fire going on, but they broke down the door and entered the home. And I spoke with the uh, fire chief, Paul Berardi. He tells me what happened next. You can imagine once they make entry and they, and they then hear the screams in there, they know that their primary goal is life safety. And so that's exactly what they did. They searched, they went back to the kitchen, uh, found, uh, and I'm not positive it was back in the kitchen, but they found the uh, older girl who, I am told was actually laying over the top of her sister. So that older girl was laying on top of her younger sister in an attempt to protect her. Both of them were unresponsive, as I mentioned, and firefighters pulled them out of the home out here where uh, paramedics uh, intubated them and then rushed them off to the hospital. Again, they are both in critical condition right now. Firefighters have not said what caused the fire. That's still under investigation uh, by the bomb and arson unit. We'll continue to follow the story and bring you updates as soon as we get it. Reporting live in Kansas City, Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.